Danny Hornby is 18 years old and soon to leave school, but his mum says she's no idea what will happen to him next. It's really terrifying, actually, looking at the long term. Most young people look to a future of employment or at least further education, but the further education opportunities for Danny are very, very, very minimal. Virginia wants Danny to be able to continue learning the everyday skills he'll need to live independently, as he's been doing here at the Treehouse School in Muswell Hill. It was set up by parents, including Danny's dad, the author Nick Hornby, to provide support for children with autism. But now those children are growing up. It is really hard for parents because you fight really hard to get your child into the right school and suddenly it's like back to square one. In fact, the charity Ambitious About Autism says fewer than one in four of those young people go on to further education and 85% of adults are unemployed. The government says it's planning to extend support up until the age of 25, but the parents want that to be made a legal requirement and they hope to get colleges to work with them too. Further education colleges, up till now, it's not that they've been against having young people with autism, it's just that they haven't had the right incentives. It hasn't been top of their agenda. What? Squeeze. Despite the challenges ahead, Virginia says she is optimistic, hoping the world will gradually open up for young people like Danny instead of shutting down. Sonia Jessup, BBC London News.